This is level three etiquette with Coach Thomas. If you are invited to play through the group ahead, should you do so? Yes. Say if you're a twosome and they're a foursome, they're being polite letting you play through because you guys are playing much faster than they are and they don't want to hold you guys up. Is it ever acceptable to hitch a ride on the back of a golf cart? No, because that is unsafe and we prioritize safety because we don't want anyone getting hurt. When you practice on the driving range in putting green, is it okay to disturb someone who else is practicing there? No. So when people are on the driving range or putting green, you don't want to just walk to them and start talking to them, hitting a ball to their hole. You want to leave them be, let them practice on their own. If you don't like the result of a shot, can you re-hit on the course or a mulligan? No, you may not. Because you have to play your shot from wherever you hit it. Because you always want to advance the ball in the best way, and if you don't advance the ball in a good way, maybe one shot, you have to replay. You have to still hit from there. You can't just replay your shot. Are practice swings allowed as long as they don't delay play, interfere with another player's concentration, or cause damage to the course? Yes, they are allowed. Practice swings help show you what you're going to do in your actual swing. So doing a practice swing before your real shot is going to help you do better on the, your, when you address the ball and actually hit the shot. Is your group expected to play the course in a predetermined maximum time period? Yes. There's a max time period on a golf course, so it might be a few hours, but you're expected to play in that certain time frame that is provided by the golf course. Should you always rake a bunker after your shot to smooth out your footprints and divots made by the club? Yes. This is proper etiquette, because if someone else in the bunker behind you and they're in your footprint, they're at a disadvantage. Rather than if they land where you raked, they'd have a clean line in the bunker and it'd be easier for them to hit out. Is it important to arrive 10 minutes early for your scheduled tee time? Yes. So golf courses know you're there. You don't just show up 10 minutes late where they could have sent someone else out. You always want to arrive early for your tee time. Be on time. Can you play with a range ball as long as you return it? No, because it's not your property. It's the golf course's property. And so you cannot play with it. Use your own golf balls. Should you ever throw a club on the golf course? Definitely not. You should never throw a golf ball on the course because it could injure someone. If you threw it and hit them, it could damage the course and it could damage the club. This is level three etiquette. I hope it helps.